Have you ever wondered how one can break free from the chains of this illusory world? This question once arose in the mind of King Janaka, ruler of Mithila, driven by the influence of his past virtuous deeds. He pondered upon the need to approach a knowledgeable guru for answers. It was during this time he met the compassionate sage Ashtavakra, an embodiment of the ocean of knowledge. Upon seeing the sage's physical form, King Janaka was initially taken aback by his apparent deformity. However, Ashtavakra, who was capable of knowing the thoughts of others, discerned the king's inner contemplation. He said to King Janaka, O king, if you look beyond the physical form and perceive the soul, you'll realize that while this body may be crooked, the soul within is not. Just as the river may be crooked, but its water is not, or the sugarcane may be twisted, but its juice is not. This body, made of the five elements, may be twisted, but the omnipresent soul within is not. The soul is untouched, unchangeable, omnipresent, full of knowledge, blissful, indivisible, indestructible, and eternally pure, enlightened and free. Therefore, O King, abandon your physical perspective and perceive the soul. Upon hearing these profound words from Ashtavakra, the illusion that clouded King Janaka's mind immediately dissipated. He thought to himself, all my desires have been fulfilled. I will now consider him as my guru. He is the ocean of knowledge, a liberated soul. Who else could be more knowledgeable than him? It is only appropriate to take initiation from him and seek his refuge. With this thought, King Janaka expressed his desire to Ashtavakra. O noble soul, I wish to be free from the bondage of this world and seek your refuge. Recognizing King Janaka's eligibility, Ashtavakra accepted him as his disciple. King Janaka, with a desire to gain the knowledge of Brahman and to clear his doubts, began to ask questions. He asked Ashtavakra, O Master, how does a person, deluded by ignorance and constantly experiencing various false notions, suffering repeatedly from the cycle of birth and death, attain the knowledge that leads to the cessation of ignorance? To this Ashtavakra replied, if you desire liberation, then renounce the objects of the senses as poison and cultivate forgiveness, innocence, compassion, contentment, and truthfulness as the antidote. Thus, Ashtavakra advised King Janaka to first discipline his senses and control his mind, which are the primary steps towards liberation. He emphasized that without these initial steps, even millions of efforts will not lead to the realization of Brahman. It is only after gaining control over one's senses and mind that one should seek the knowledge of Brahman. And so, the journey towards liberation begins with the renunciation of the physical senses and the cultivation of virtues, the antidote to the poison of illusion and ignorance. It is a journey that transcends the physical form and delves deep into the realm of the soul, the eternal, the unchangeable, and the blissful.